I'm calling out Mr. Onfree. He's the Mercer County prosecutor. And it's actually his decision to try me, but cowardly, he's not actually trying me. His assistant, one of his assistants, Miss Katz, is trying me. And like I tell everybody, this is a persecution prosecution, but I'm going to win because I only need one. And I dare you, Mr. Onfrey, please somebody email this to her. Email this to Mrs. Katz, S. Katz, S. K. A. T. Z. at mercercounty.org, okay? Because I totally understand Miranda. Miranda says anything you can and do, can and will be used against you. It can also be used for you. So I want Mrs. Katz to bring this up in my trial. I may bring it up in my trial, you know, because I made a statement after my arrest. I believe I'm unconvictable. I don't think it's fair that Mr. Onfrey, the head of the Mercer County prosecutor, can make this decision to prosecute me, not only for the marijuana charges, but for the cyberbullying charges, which is really ridiculous. Sidebar here. I was charged with cyberbullying this 300-pound Trenton police officer named Officer Herbert Flowers. And I'm not kidding there. His real name is Herbert Flowers. So it's like Herbert Flowers versus the New Jersey Weed Man. Like, that's real. But anyway, he made a decision to try to stretch the limits of the cyber harassment laws to include public officials like a like a police officer. <laughs> it's almost funny. And the really funny part about this cyber harassment charge is every time we go to court about that, I think the next time I go to court for that is January 30th. But every time we go to court for that, guess what happens? It gets repeated in public that I called Herbert Flowers a pedophile. And like I've told everyone, I can call him a pedophile. I can call him gay. I can call him white. I can call him blue. I can call him whatever I want. That's what the First Amendment's all about. Now, if he doesn't like it, he can hit me with defamation of character. He can hit me with a cyber, I mean, a, a civil suit. But Mr. Onfrey, back to him, was an idiot because he decided to stretch this cyber harassment law <laughs> to include me, to include this incident to try to prosecute me for calling him a pedophile. Once again, he can call him anything I want to call him. He can't charge me criminally with that, you know? This isn't England. This isn't Russia. This isn't Cuba. This is America. We have a right to free speech. So, Mr. Onfrey, bring your coward ass over to the trial, to the, to the Mercer County Courthouse, and try me yourself. And again, I'm asking my followers to email this to Mercer County Prosecutor's Office. For some reason, Miss Katz thinks her email is somehow private. She kind of complained about me giving her, emailing her. So I promised my lawyer I won't email her no more. But her email is, pri is public. So anybody can go to skatz at mercercounty.org and email her. I hope you do. Email me this. Email her this. Same thing with the rest of the prosecutors. Mr. Onfrey's office, you know, they all have public emails because they are public officials. And even if they didn't give them out publicly, you can Oprah request them. Oprah stands for the Open Public Records Act. So you can Oprah request them. Yeah. Well, that's how I look at it. This is my plan there, Jody. This is my plan. And I'm going to live or die or stay free or be incarcerated by my plan. You know, I do have Mr. Hayburn. He's going to fight a whole bunch of pretrial stuff for me. But if his pretrial arguments aren't successful, when we get down to it, when we go to trial, I'm picking a jury. I'm giving the opening statements. I'm cross-examining people. I'm going to beg my jurors to disregard the law and exonerate me with a not guilty verdict, utilizing jury nullification. And anybody, 
in New Jersey can look up New Jersey Constitution, Article 1, Paragraph 6. Read it. Article 1, Paragraph 6. It says, in all prosecutions or indictments, and trust me, I'm being prosecuted and I've been indicted. My indictment number is 16-08-677I. Anyway, in all prosecutions or indictments, the jury may be told the truth is evidence and the jury may judge the law as well as the facts. Read it. It's right in the New Jersey Constitution. That is jury nullification. If a juror can judge the law as well as the facts, then why can't I put on a case that the law is wrong despite the facts? Yeah, factually, the state of New Jersey has a 2C-35 law that says marijuana is a Schedule One drug and it has no medical value and therefore it's illegal, which is absolutely asinine considering the fact that New Jersey also has a Kumla, our Compassionate Use of Medical Marijuana Act, that says marijuana is a medical, has medical value. But on top of that, tough. If you are on my jury and you believe that the marijuana laws are wrong, you can simply say not guilty. And this is not only in the New Jersey Constitution, it is the purpose of the Sixth Amendment. It goes back to English common law. Anybody who studies English common law or American jurisprudence or whatever you want to use, whatever word you want to call it, old English common law, goes back to William Penn and, you know, everything in America goes back to our Constitution and our old English common law. And this is one of the, this is one of the book works, one of the cornerstones of our so-called free society. The fact that we have the ability to face a jury of our peers and our peers can reject the law. Our peers can reject what the government says and simply say not guilty. So once again, I ask my followers during this Christmas holiday to fill up the Mercer County prosecutors inboxes or emails with this video. Just simply share it. Just copy the URL and drop it in an email to the Mercer County prosecutor's office. Anyway, peace. Let me stop driving down the highway and recording videos before I get in trouble for that, too. Peace.